Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Welcome back to our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So in this lesson, we've been going over some of the features and settings in the content tab of all the sections, rows, columns, and modules. In this one in particular, we're looking at the background settings. So we have, you know, color, gradient, image, video, and then all the features that go along with those. So I thought this was helpful to have in a separate little lesson here. Um, and I think this one you can do a lot with, and we're going to show you some examples. So let's get started. Okay, so another group of settings that we want to look at is the background settings. And you can find these, again, in any of the, you know, the sections, the columns, the rows, the modules, and that's how all of these are. Okay, so let's go in here to the section. I'll show you the settings. So the background settings, we have the color, we have a gradient, we have image and video. And each one of these is responsive. So you get the tabs for each one of these. And then depending on which one we're on, we'll get different settings. So color, we obviously get our color picker. If we're on gradient, we get the gradient picker. And then image, it opens up more settings here. And the same with video, okay? So let's say for this one here, we want to have the section, we want to have a background image. So we pick one here and oh, I can't read it very well. So we go down here and we could change the blend mode to overlay and then go in here and let's add a gradient. And then what we could do is do stuff like this where we make it lighter and things like that. So we would wanna change our text to, to something lighter since this is dark. But what I'm showing you is that you could change this completely on on mobile so let's say we wanted this to have a nice background like this and then we even went in here to each of these and we'll you know we'll get to this later but let's say this here the text color we had white okay and then but on mobile we didn't want this background gradient anymore so we switched to mobile and we just think it's too busy on mobile because it gets you know, tall or whatever, and then just go ahead and delete it. See how I deleted the image and then the gradient, I can delete that as well. But then as soon as I switch back to desktop, it's still there, all right? And that's, and then you would wanna obviously change the text again, and we'll get to that, but change the text to something dark again for mobile. And there you go, you can have a good use case of changing these background settings. So like I said, it works for Color, you know, you could add a, a color. You, you have to, you know, choose a color or gradient and then uh, video or image. Okay, so then no matter what you pick here, these settings all apply to that device. So if you had, like, if we had a different image on phone, let's say I had a different image here. Let's go ahead and pick one. I want this table. And then let's say I wanted to have instead of overlay, I wanted it to be multiply. Okay. But then when I switch back to desktop, see even the setting goes along with it and see it's not on multiply, it's on overlay, like I said. So that's really cool. So all of these settings are responsive. Um, and that's, I think that's really helpful depending what you're doing with your Divi website. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoy learning about everything that was in the content tab that concludes all of the lessons in the content tab. So next we're going to be moving on to the design tab. That's where things get a little more interesting. Um, so let's keep going. We'll see you in the next video.